Uh, it's High Saints. It's pretty late in the evening, and um, I don't usually put that many videos up, probably once every other day or sometimes every day. Um, I wanted to talk about a topic that I've discussed before, and it's regarding atheism. There's increased atheists that, you know, they don't believe in God. They don't believe that God exists. But yet, they want to force their belief system, their distorted belief system, on others. So what they basically do is they're doing crazy things like this. They're no different than Muslims, okay? I'm just going to be real. They like to force their beliefs on you. So, for example, um, out in California, an atheist organization, even in New York, they're trying to remove prayers from schools. So what they're doing is overstepping the boundaries of people that are Christians that want to practice their faith. The constitutional right says that they have the right to uh, worship freely. And they're overstepping those boundaries. So that's increased persecution on Christians. So I had this one atheist basically said I was deluded, Jesus doesn't exist, this, that, and the other. And then I said that science proves Jesus Christ exists. There's archaeological findings dating back even, even of scriptures of the Bible, you know. So I know the atheist is a liar. And then I said to this atheist, you can't even, you know, you can't even prove God doesn't exist. Science can't prove anything. I don't even rely on your science. You guys don't even get evolution right. They said that the Big Bang Theory created human beings. And, um, now, and then they said evolution. Then they said Big Bang Theory. Now they're saying that evolution or the Big Bang Theory is not right. So you expect me to believe um, your science. Your science can't even get that right. But yet your science proves Jesus Christ existed. Your science can't get how mankind was made. But the only thing that they did right was they proved that Jesus Christ, who was God, existed. And scholars would agree that Jesus Christ did exist. Okay? And he's alive and well. Okay? So the atheist says to me, well, you're right that evolution um, is not correct. Humans didn't evolve from apes. But Christianity still falls with nothing to back it up. So I basically say, you can't prove God exists. You prove that I'm right, that evolution's not right. Evolution's not correct. So your science cannot be trusted. The only thing your science did right was prove that Jesus Christ existed. And, and also that events in the Bible, like Noah's Ark um, flooding, the mass flood, they found proof of that. They found, like I said to you guys, horse bones and human bones in the, what is it called the Dead Sea. Red sea. The Red Sea, I'm sorry, the Red Sea, where uh, the Lord destroyed the Egyptian army that was coming after the Israelites. There's evidence of that. There's also evidence that Nassau recently came out with, and I'm going to try to leave these links in the video below. I'm going to try, otherwise you can Google it yourself, okay? Nassau said there was a, um, a time lapse of 23 hours and 40 minutes. The time was missing. So, if you go to the Bible, Joseph asked the Lord Jesus Christ to stop time. The Lord stopped it for 23 hours and 20 minutes. Do you remember that? Joseph. It's Joshua. Joshua, I'm sorry. Thank you. It was Joshua. Thank you. Then, I believe it was Zedekiah. Hezekiah. Hezekiah. Sorry, you guys. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Hezekiah. Thank you. Um, Hezekiah. Asked the Lord Jesus Christ to stop time briefly, and the Lord did for 40 minutes. So there is the 24 hours that Nassau said was missing. There was a time lapse, and the Bible explains that the Lord stopped the time twice. Now, the Lord does say in the Bible that if he was to shorten the days, it would be for his elect's sake, remember? Yeah. So... The NASA basically proved that the Bible is right and the authentic word of God was Jesus Christ. You know, if, you know, science can't explain uh, 
why time was left. Science can't even explain why the ma why the mass animal death. It's not global warming. Global warming is a hoax that was exposed. It's a lie. Just like your history books are in science, period. Like I said, the only thing that science did right was prove the existence of Jesus Christ, the biblical events that I told you about. And, um, again, that uh, the reason why time stopped was because Jesus Christ, who was God himself, stopped it. So, you know, you have these atheists trying to disprove Christianity, but they have no backing. None. They are holding on to a cult that has no credibility. It's like, it's like Islam. Islam came, what, 600 years, I'm sorry, um, not, Muhammad came 600 years after the birth of Jesus Christ, okay? Islam came, yeah, this is 600 years after Christianity, in other words, Jesus Christ. There's no proof or no mention of the pedophile Muhammad even existing, okay? Or proof of that he's a fault, that he's a prophet of God. Um, if there's any proof that he existed, it's only uh, him finding a cult called Islam, the fact that he was possessed by Satan, and the fact that he left a trail of dead bodies of Jewish people and Christians over the last 1,400 years. Not just him, but his descendants did the same thing, and that's even being carried out now. People listen to a false prophet of one man who claims Jesus Christ was never crucified. You know, why would their false god deceive so many people into thinking Jesus Christ was crucified only to say, no, he wasn't? Wouldn't that be sick and evil and deceptive, like something Satan would do, a.k.a. Allah? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, atheism is the same thing. There's no proof of atheism, any of its contributions to humanity. There's just no evidence of atheism. The only thing that they rely on is their science, which is seriously flawed because science cannot explain, again, the mass animal deaths, why the rivers are turning blood red. But if you go to the Bible, it clearly predicts it and explains it. Atheists like to say that the Bible was man writ made uh, written by man. So again, I pose the same questions to these atheists. If by the Bible was written by man, how is it that the that um, the Bible has predictions that were prophesied centuries ago that are coming to pass now? An example would be Israel becoming a nation, World War One, World War Two. Um, also, the first man walking on the moon, uh, this Bible represents, I'm sorry, it talks about increased knowledge among man, um, oh, about Christians being persecuted. It also prophesied the birth of Jesus Christ, and science proves that Jesus Christ existed. Every time I pose these questions to these atheists, they can't, ex they can't explain it. So atheism is a cult like Islam is. Here's the other thing I wanted to present to you. How can they even think that everything was made by the Big Bang Theory? It doesn't make any sense because if you look at the intricacies of God's creation, like why, um, like for example, uh, the, the birth of a child, the way that they grow in a mother's womb. The way that um, a man can procreate with a female, and I'm not trying to get nasty here, but a female's vagina is constructed to support a man's penis during copulation. Copulation among a married couple, a holy marriage approved by Jesus Christ. Think about the other fascinating things about nature. Um, Leaf bugs that looks uh, there's bugs that look like a leaf, a rock, bugs that can blend in with flowers. Um, the environment it's a defense mechanism. Um, think about how lions hunt, their instincts on how they, uh, how they uh, defend their young, how they hunt. Um, think also about the fact that the plant life. They are sensitive to touch. They are sensitive to the environment around them. And yes, scientists have discovered that part. 
How can the Big Bang Theory make something that complex? Think also about how, I'll give you an example, um, primates have, have family-like oriented values, like they're very loyal to their mates. Primates, meaning um, whether there's gorillas, monkeys, they have, depending on the species, may have one mate, and they'll be loyal to that mate. Such complexities within species has to have been made by a higher being, a supreme being. Just like, like I said in the Bible, the prophets of old that wrote the Bible, it wasn't them. Because they prophesied things that they could not have known that would happen this far in the future. They prophesied, like I said, the Israel becoming a nation. And that came to pass. How can they possibly know something that far in the future unless something very powerful revealed that to them? A higher being, the same higher being that created everything. Okay? Um, think about the fact that the four seasons. Why are certain seasons able to support certain animals? like the desert. There are animals in the desert that that are meant for that habitat. Each animal has their own ecosystem that they're meant to thrive in and that ecosystem feeds them quite well. A supreme being made that. You have to think about the complexities. Like I said, going back to the example of a leaf bug. A leaf bug. A bug that is shaped exactly like a leaf to blend in a defense mechanism. Something very intelligent made that, not the Big Bang Theory. Knew what he or she was doing, or in this case, knew what he was doing as Jesus Christ, knew what he was doing when he made that. So you could sit here and think, oh, well, Esmeralda's deluded or whatever. I don't care what you think, because I don't care what man's got to say. Because like it says on the screen right there, there's three witnesses. The spirit, the water, and the blood. There are three that bear witness on earth, meaning Jesus Christ bears witness. Jesus Christ knows who believes in him. You see, the existence of God is proven by the faith you have, by his creation, by his glory. It's not proven by sight. If you want to prove it by sight, if you want to, just look at all the prophetic events that are coming to pass. Just look at the fact that there's proof Jesus Christ existed. That the biblical events like Exodus happened. There's proof. They, they found proof. Scientists found proof that there was a mass flood because they found hordes of dead bodies of beasts of the field and the air and um, of the sea. Of the, I think it's field of the air and the sea. No, the air and the land. And... Uh, people as well. They found scores of dead bodies, like uh, remains. And they determined that there was a massive flood globally, long time ago, supporting the flood of Noah, as in the days of Noah. So you have to have faith and think outside of the box and not by man's intellect to know that God does exist, who is Jesus Christ. And you know what's another big factor? Is that demons are real. I know people that are getting attacked by them. I even know atheists that got attacked by a demon and saw that demon up front and close. They thought they were hallucinating, but this demon kept attacking them. The demon came to the conclusion and started to doubt atheism, saying, if this is real, if the evil side is real, if demons exist, that means angels have to be real, that means God is real. So you atheists out there that sit there and like to run your mouth without any proof saying that God is not real and this, that, and the other, you're entitled to your opinion. But you're going to have a big time wake-up call coming to all of you.